Aloha everybody and welcome to Wade's World Hawaii. It's been a long time since I've been in front of the screen because I've been really, really busy with building the website, getting ready to launch the complete poor man's guide to all the Hawaiian islands and my tours have been picking up. But here I am at your request to be back on screen like I used to all the time. So it's been a long time and I wanted to do something special today, something very sacred. and. Uh, that's what we're doing. We are here at Ulupo Heiau. And this is a very sacred place. And it has been around for a very, very long time, perhaps even over a thousand years. And this place holds a lot of mana here, a lot of spirit of the Kanaka Moli. And it's just a very peaceful and beautiful place and a lot of people don't go off the beaten path they just stay on the main area see the heiau you want to fully explore this place because it's really really huge and the thing is is you know there's many different heiaus you know lupo isn't just um you know it, it wasn't just a you know it wasn't a, it wasn't like a sacrificial heiau it wasn't a birthing heiau you know it wasn't a heiau where you go and you know pray to the gods to you know give you victory in battle this was a agricultural heiau and supposedly at one time this was housing anywhere between 15 and 20,000 people and it was feeding those many people which is just crazy but the fact of the matter is that this place has been around pre-dating you know the the Tahitians possibly that even came here so you know there's a little story about the Manihuni, which are, I guess you could say, gnomes of Hawaii, and they're the little people here. And supposedly they're the ones that created this heiau before, you know, the Tahitians, the Hawaiians, even got here. And the thing is, is the heiau that we're gonna see in a few minutes, well, maybe not a few minutes, we gotta work our way around. Um, it was made stone by stone. Now this place is located in Kailua, but the stones came from Kualoa. So, you know, near Chinaman's Hat and Kualoa Ranch. So, for the many who need to do that, stone to stone, person to person, how many people were talking here? Crazy! <laughs> so, let's get going. Let's explore this heiau completely. Lupo heiau. And I'd like to thank Lonnie McKenzie, my good brother, um, for inviting me over to here and giving me this great gift. Um, you know, things in life, you know, materialistic things and, and, and stuff like that, I've never been big on that, being a Buddhist and all. It's not, it's not materialistic things that, that, you know, grows a man's soul or grows a person's soul. It's the experiences and the gifts given to each other through emotions, you know, and through friendship. And to be given this gift by Lonnie, Truly appreciate it, brother. And now I get to show everybody this place because before Lonnie showed me, I've heard about it, but I never knew where exactly it was. Now I've found it, now I've explored it, and now you're going to. So when you're here in Hawaii Ne and you come to Hawaii and you want to learn a little bit about the history of the islands here, um, take the time. Do your research before you get here. Just don't come here and be ignorant of the traditions, okay, of the history and historic chaos and locations here in Hawaii. Ne. It's very important. Respect the land, respect the people, respect the Kanaka Moli, okay? So um, if you come here, head over to this heiau. It's awesome. <laughs> Let's do this.
another beautiful day in paradise and this hay out is something else I mean the um, the irrigation system that runs through here is fully functional um, they've gotten it up to par here man the locals have really got this place running efficiently it's uh, the irrigation system is completely running from the hay out it's completely running through the taro fields it's getting to the Getting to the uh, papaya and the um, the mango and the noni and the uh, sugar cane and the bananas and the coconuts. Jeez, there's everything here. You could live here, and you know the Hawaiians did live here. So this is just one of those places you gotta visit when you uh, come out to Hawaii. It's the most beautiful heiau I've seen on Oahu. And it's just huge, and it's well worth exploring and appreciating the history, okay? The history of the Hawaiian people. And it gives you a whole new appreciation for the way they lived their lives, the way they lived one with the Aina, the way they, you know, if they took from the land, they gave back to the land. You know, you never take more, you know, than you can give back. And it's something we can seriously learn. We can seriously learn some amazing stuff from the Hawaiian people. Because um, we just don't do that today. We're just not taking care of our land. Um, we're not taking care of our air, of our, you know, our environment. And, um, you know, you can say it over and over again. Does anybody listen? Does anybody care? I do. I care. <laughs> Let's care, okay? Let's care a little more. You know, it's important. So, um, you guys have come out here. You guys come out here. 
definitely visit, you know, visit this AL. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the serenity, the peace here. You can just chill out, read a book, pick up a pyre off the tree, whatever you want to do. Just the way you come in is the way you leave, okay? And, um, you know, it's just one of the things in life that you, you just have to live this. You have to, you have to live Pono. You have to live righteous. You know, you have to live a righteous way, and that goes just not the way the Hawaiians do, but the way Buddhism does away, you know, does as well. Just live your life in a positive way. You know, you know, if you see some trash on the ground, pick it up. Don't have oh, don't you don't need somebody to tell you. Do it. Just do it, and um, help somebody when they're in need. You know, just just little things like that. When you come to a place like this, you appreciate just all those little things. So, um, yeah, that's all I can say, guys. I love life. I love Hawaii. <laughs> and I'm never leaving this place. <laughs> so come on out. Visit me. <laughs> so from Wade's World, Poor Man's Guide to Hawaii, I hope you had another beautiful day. It was free. Are you surprised? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hopefully we'll see you guys sooner than later. <laughs> Shoot. Now I gotta figure out how the heck to get out of here. Maybe I'll go through the taro fields. Sounds like a plan. Later. Symbol of the soul.